agreed by a majority of members present that declare the motion passed. Third reading. Court Proceedings Electronic Technology Bill, Chief Secretary. President, I move that the Court Proceedings Electronic Technology Bill be read the third time in due course. I now propose the question to you that the Court Proceedings Electronic Technology Bill be read the third time in due course. Does anyone wish to speak? Mr. Porte. I support. Will those in favour please raise their hands? Mr. Charles Mock. President, I'd like to take this opportunity to say that I am in support of this court proceedings electronic technology bill. There is a need for this bill, but it comes a little bit too late. In my experience for eight years here, there are certain departments that are falling behind in terms of technology. The judiciary is uh, one of them, and maybe it's uh, because of um, the fact that um, they're separated from the executive branch and they don't get this, all the support that they need. I urge the administration to help them uh, do a better job. Back in 2013, uh, there was a long-term study and they got a funding. It wasn't until 2020 that um, this is being done. I think the administrative, administratively, the government is um, proceeding too slowly. I don't want to be verbose except to say that if the administration wants to take forward IT, it should start with uh, the, the uh, administration. We have to remove all the legal barriers. The government should not uh, leave until the last minute that um, this is done. I heard from colleagues that um, the secretary did talk to the media uh, to say something about um, the Democrats. I hope that the Secretary will talk to us direct if he has any comments about the Democrats. They, he should not um, just um, be critical of us outside the chamber. That doesn't seem to be uh, occurring well for the future development. If you want to have a peace, peaceful um, development, it is detrimental the way you do it. You should um, build um, a bridge for communication instead of just being critical outside the chamber. President, this is my last speech here in this council. Uh, quietly I came and quietly I'm leaving. And uh, as I flick my uh, sleeve, I'm not bringing, taking away any, uh, any clouds. So, uh I propose the question that the court proceeding electronic technology bill be read to attempt to pass. Enough. I see the question agreed by the majority of the members present. I declare the motion passed. Court proceedings electronic technology bill. And to call it now at 11.38, after consulting the members' views, I see it as impossible to uh, complete the scrutiny tonight. Allow me to say something for a few minutes. As the last council, well, before the last sitting of this term logical comes to an end, I would like to, members to, some words about my health. For the past four years, the logical and the Hong Kong Society have gone through up and downs and also scrutinized a lot of controversial legislations. and. Well, um, to work with my colleagues would also have uh, up the most of up and downs and also with satisfaction and regret. Some members have decided not to run for election while members members continue to, will, to run for election. I believe that the members continue to serve the public in various capacities. And for Let's Go Co, effectively, this charge of constitutional duty is hugely important to Hong Kong. I hope that the uh, incoming legislators continue to uh, condone each other for the rational communications and to harness the functions of let's go and put the public interest at heart. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the deputy president and of uh, presiding the meetings on behalf of me. Allow me to free up to uh, take care of this. Is like to thank the secretariat to provide a professional and reliable support to members. 
before I announce the moment, I would like you to stay on to take a great photo. And due to the COVID-19 pandemic, please do not remove your mask and allow me to capture this moment of farewell. Finally, I wish the Hong Kong to fully conquer the COVID-19 or get new heights. I declare the meeting adjourned.